too early. Good morning. It's a lovely Monday again. I need a lot of caffeine today. I slept for eight hours and I'm so exhausted and was so contemplating not going to uni, but we don't do that. We go to uni. Right now I'm going to the gym. I thought I'd take you for a week of my life. At uni, in third year, doing law. I'm literally in uni from nine till five. And then I have hockey training. So it's a bit of an ass day, but we're making our way, let's go. second dance party Also, I was laughing like <laughs> everyone in my lectures like are dressed up to the nines, like makeup done, hair done, lovely trench coats, jeans. I look like this. You can't really see some in the bathroom, but like I've um freshly rolled out of a hedge, which I have. But um, we rock it, and family law is next. Hello, happy Tuesday. It is 3 p.m. to be precise. I've had a very productive day thus far. I have been to my two hour tutorial, bad as always. I then went to the gym and I did a seven kilometer tempo run because you gals running in the London Marathon in April. <coughs> now six months sounds far, but, but not as far as running a marathon. That is, that's, that's far. So yeah, we've done one week of training so far. And I'm a wee bit nervous because <laughs> it's already hard and I'm like, I'm finding it hard at eight kilometers. I don't run, I can sprint, I don't do long distance. Like me, I was the one at the back at cross country at school. So here we are running the London Marathon. I am running for an amazing charity. I'm running for Children with Cancer UK. We're doing it for the charity. That, that is what is getting me through my training, but I am very scared about it. That was just my flowers falling if you heard that. But I'm actually gonna put my Just Giving page link below. So if you do want to give to that amazing charity and support me in my marathon, thank you so much. But today I thought we would do a little bit of baking. It's one of those kind of grayish days, like it's not raining, but it's a little bit dull. And I thought I am going to make something autumnal, something pumpkin spice inspired, but also kind of healthy, wholesome. And I want to be able to eat it for breakfast because recently I CBA to make breakfast, seriously CBA, and I don't really want to eat Weetabix every day. So we're going to make pumpkin spice breakfast muffins, something of that nature. So if you want to follow along, let's go grab our ingredients. Hello. It is so cold, but you know, we have an Udi cuddle and now I'm, I'm in the mood to bake. So we're going to start with the wet ingredients because that's usually what you do. As I said, we're not following our recipe, but we're gonna go with the pumpkin. This is literally just 100% pumpkin puree. And I'm thinking we're gonna go with a cup of this. I feel like you can't go wrong with a cup. We want them to be pumpkin-y. There's not much taste of pumpkin, to be fair. That's probably just gonna make them moist. There's the pumpkin. You might be wondering why am I using American cups, but, to be honest, it's because I'm winging this and I feel like it's a lot easier to go with like a cup of this or half a cup of this than be like, let's go with like 200 grams or like 132 grams. Get my gist? So. Mm. I'll do like the stamp, stamp test, you know, like. Yeah. There you go. 
I've, I've, I've seen more appetizing stuff, I'm not gonna lie. And here we go, we have, magically we have oat flour. Yeah, that's fine. We'll see what it's looking like because I definitely want to add some whole oats. Oh yeah, baby. I do kind of want this to rise though, I'm not gonna lie. Add a wee bit more. A few, few cracks of that. One. Let's go with two big ones and we'll see what that smells like. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Looks edible. I mean, obviously it looks disgusting right now, but it looks like batter, right? Okay. In you go. It worked. Look at that. I'm gonna leave it like in the in the baking tray till. I get back from hockey, I'm now going to hockey training. And when I come back, I'll take it out because I just wanna be 100% sure it's cooked because that would be hashtag heartbreak in the morning if I cut into it and like it was inedible because it was still raw. Fucking versus fucking raw! So I'm gonna leave that and then in the morning, I will be having some of this for my breakfast before my hockey match and I'm very excited. <laughs> Occurrence for the whole of winter, and I'm not mad about it. Once again, not an aesthetic. Get ready with me in the morning. Okay, since we are traveling quite a long distance, I just like to travel in my trackies because traveling a score and like your match kit is just not nice. I'm so <laughs> gonna be late. Ah. So, sweatpants and trackies it is. And then, just whack on some ankle socks. Wow, I had so much time this morning, what happened? For some snacks to take with me for my match, I have serene malt loaves, my fave, some people hate them, I love them. And I've also got this Huel chocolate shake. I have actually fallen in love with these. They are so perfect for like, before like a run or a gym session because they are a protein shake, but it's not just protein. Like it has 32 grams of carbs in them. It's obviously just having a protein shake before a match, before the gym, whatever. You know, it's not giving you that energy from the carbs. So this has got a really good amount of carbs and all your added vitamins and minerals. But yeah, don't be scared of carbs, people. We need carbs. They fuel us, make us perform well. So I will be having this and some malt loaves <laughs> before my match. <laughs> runner now that I've got a vest. It is time to go do week one of my marathon training. Long run. It's only 9k though so we're good. We're doing like a baseline training program right now but even if I can't run I feel like I look the part. Got my wee vest, got some like finger hole running type thing. We're gonna be brave, wear a crop, 
crop top, our stomach can be out, it doesn't need to be flat, we're, we're gonna be okay. And gonna get my running shoes on and I'm going running with Tristan. First ever run together, it's probably not gonna end well. But I'm excited, not excited by the rain, it's pouring with rain. But nevertheless, we're gonna have we're gonna have a good run. I'm feeling good about it. I'm hoping I'm gonna feel like I'm, I'm a runner soon. It's a bit wet. We're gonna continue running anyway. We did our little warm up jog down to the meadows, and I already have stitch, so that's really boring well for this lovely long run. But first half is like slow, conversational ish pace, and then the last half is a lot faster. Just to try and get rid of my stitch. But let's go. It's gonna be a very very soggy one, but that's okay. Okay, I can't even at the pace I wanted to do this 42 at. Oh no. And I can't be my legs, and look, brand new shoes are defo worn in. Legs are muddy, shoes are muddy, soaking wet, but Justin Sykes coming with me is a cheeky wee Nando, so Nando's a double check of that. And a sunset burger. We are absolutely soaking, soaking wet in shorts and a crop top. In Nando's and it's raining outside, but that's okay. Do it for the Nando's. We made it to Friday. It's Friday, favorite day of the week because you know you don't have uni tomorrow. You don't have uni on Saturday. It's the weekend. Great, favorite day. I'm also excited because Kimmy is away at OTC related engagements. So Tristan and I are gonna have a little cute at home date night, specifically a steak night date night. We went to M&S, thought we'd be bougie, thought we'd splurge on ourselves. We got some M&S steaks and fruits and some little like side dishes. Of course, I'm calling the caterpillars for after, for dessert. And we're gonna put a lovely movie on and I'm very excited. Love me a steak. They are looking good. They're marinating right next to me. Marinating? like coming to room temperature is what I'm trying to say. I think we've done good. I feel like we deserve a steak night at the end of this lovely, awfully busy week. I also come to realize I don't think I've done much inclusion of me doing uni work in this vlog. I have been doing uni work, <laughs> I promise. I do have an assignment due on Monday, which can't say is completed yet. However, we still have two days. We're fine. I am excited for some steak though, so let's get cooking. Ooh. 